pretty cold last night, it was frost on the ground and everything when I turned up. But I think I might change around and try a few colours. Nothing's really happened at the moment, I'm sure there'll be something happening soon. There's going to be something happening. I just need to keep looking out for jumping carp and look around for little areas I may have a go at. Should have set up the brolly first, but I almost took off as well when I was trying to set it up. So it's pretty windy at the moment. Well, I'm back out for another session. I'm at Monk Lakes. I decided this time I'm going to come onto the Match Lakes. I um, haven't really had much success on the main lakes, um, I've done two nights now and haven't caught anything. After a carp, um, any size really, a ten pounder would be nice. It's been quite mild recently but um, there was some frost last night so I don't know if that's going to put them off or not, we'll see about that. I just want to explain that I'm going to be a media consultant for Carp Basics, um, that means I may now and then not get a chance to get a video out because I'm busy editing or filming. Well the good thing is I'm going to be getting free bait which is really good um, especially how expensive bait is at the moment and uh, it just helps me make more videos and um, spend a lot more money on camera equipment and tackle and day tickets and memberships as well. So that's what's going to happen and um, I'm looking forward to it as well, um, I am looking forward to doing some filming and some socials and all sorts of things with the team members of Carp Basics, so um, I'm looking forward to all of that and doing some filming as well for them and also to be honest it's going to help me a lot and um, I'm definitely going to have more opportunities to fish more interesting places now and uh, yeah I think it's going to be a good collaboration. Well, I thought I'd go for solid bags today um, just because they get more bites really, especially when I'm fishing little day ticket water, especially match lakes as well. Solid bags are really good. I've got two mil red lobster pellets in there and I've also got some red lobster um, stick mix as well at the bottom just to keep my hook bait from hooking any of those pellets. The hook baits are all nut cork wafters. Um, I've got them in dumbbell and I've tipped them off with a plastic corn. I've got on a orange at the moment, but I think I might change around and try a few colors as well, because um, some colors do better than others on this lake. Um, and also all the match lakes on here have different colors they like. There's diff sort of a preference really for each lake, um, but I will play around with them today. I've also brought some boilies with me, um, which are the red lobster as well, but I've soaked them in water. Um, if I think that I want to put a few baits over the top or a few crush bits over the top then I will but at the moment I've sort of kept them just in case I need to change over maybe I want to stick on a bigger bait and wait for a bigger carp you never know so I brought it with me just in case I need it but I start off with solid bags get as many bites as possible maybe I might change to a bigger bait to try and catch a bigger carp but as it's been really cold recently I'm just happy to catch really if I do get one <laughs> so it's going to be tricky um, even though I'm on a match lake, it's still still cold, still, you know, not going to be the greatest fishing in the world, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that I will get a bite.
Well, uh, nothing happened. Well, I was about to say nothing happened, but um, I've just had an indication. <laughs> um, that's all I've had really, a few indications. Nothing's happened at all. Um, those carp I saw earlier are not jumping at all. I saw quite a few actually, um, all over the place. Jump and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna get a bite. Nothing's happened. I'm thinking probably in the afternoon, maybe they might feed more. Uh, once it warms up a bit. It was pretty cold last night, it was frost on the ground and everything when I turned up, so yeah, it's pretty cold. I've forgotten a few things. The boilies I've put in water, I've actually added the ocean fruit liquid to it as well. I forgot to mention that one, um, just to extra boost it as well, um, and just to add something a bit different to it as well, um, two different flavours in there. I also forgot to mention that the reason I put a solid bag in this front of this snag is because it's the only snag on this side that I can see. Um, I did think there might be a carp in there. Nothing's happened, but what I was thinking is I'll put a solid bag somewhere else and I'll bait it up. I've put some 6 mil all nut pellets in there and I've also put some red lobster boilies but I've sort of chopped them in half and just put a few chops in there as well um, and give it about half an hour or so and then I'll put the rig back in and uh, see what happens but uh, it's the only thing I've got to go on in the moment nothing's happening in the middle I've put that solid bag out there and it's been sitting there for over an hour and nothing's happened so I probably will bring that in at some point um, but I did recast the other one I decided to pull it in the middle a bit more further down. Um, I've also changed the hook bait slightly. I've just changed to a yellow plastic corn. That is pretty much it. Also, I forgot to mention that even though I am fishing a wafter, now normally when you fish a wafter and you put a plastic corn on top of it, it's basically a pop-up. What I've done with my one, I've actually chopped off the top of it and then, uh, then I put the plastic corn on top of it. Um, that sort of doesn't really um, change the balance that much. It's slightly pushing the hook up but it's not a pop up which is really good. That's what I want. I want some kind of buoyancy in it and when that carp comes along and sucks on the bag it just, the whole bait is going to go straight into gob. But the reason I've changed it to yellow just because yellow works really well on here and I'm hoping it'll work for me at the moment. Um, yeah, nothing's really happening at the moment. I'm sure there'll be something happening soon. There's going to be something happening. Uh, I just need to keep looking out for jumping carp and look around for little areas I may have a go at. My plan is to literally just give it an hour, pull it back in that margin spot, see what happens. I may change the other solid bag over as well, um, chuck that somewhere else and then that'll be it really for now and then if nothing happens after all that then I probably will move. Um, the other side of this lake bit that I can fish as well, I can wish I can go over there and fish there. There is another lake as well that hardly anyone's on. Um, I'm on Lake 1 at the moment. I did want to fish Lake 2, but it's a bit busy on there. Uh, lake 3 has got a match on as well, so um, I am kind of stuck on this lake at the moment and uh, I'm hoping to see if people leave or maybe there's some spots on the other lake I might be able to move to. But we'll see for now and uh, hopefully soon I catch something.
well, I've moved, um, I've made a decision and I've done it. <laughs> um, nothing else is happening there. Um, I've come to a swim that I actually had bites from the last time fishing the match lakes. Uh, last time I ended up uh, starting on two and then ended up on here. Um, but the la last minute I just saw a carp jump in this area a couple of times and that's the reason I fished it right at the last minute. The weather is very similar to last time as well. Uh, the wind direction um, and temperature and to be honest it was really sunny last time and it's sunny this time as well. So I thought they would be down here. I haven't actually seen anything jump yet but it's worth it anyway. Worth coming down and trying to try and hear this is where I had my bites at my last session on the Match Lake so I thought might as well fish it. I've made a few changes. Um, solid bag one, I've actually just changed the hook bait. I've just uh, shaved down a pink ocean fruit pop-up. And the other one, I've actually changed to a lead clip uh, on a Ronnie rig, and I've got a 15 mil yellow ocean fruit pop-up. One is actually three quarters the way out. Um, last time I did get a bite from that area. Um, but the main area that I got a bite from last time, which was literally just in front of this platform, um, about, I don't know, three foot out, four foot out from the platform. Um, the bottom is really hard and firm, and that's where I got all my bites from last time. Uh, it's still okay as a spot. I tried it out, I played around with it, see what it was like. Uh, obviously the lead clip is in there with a the yellow pop-up. That's what I did last time, yellow little pop-up, just to put in front of this platform and a few pellets and uh, boilies, which I've, this time I've got the six mil pellets and I've put half bait uh, boilies in there as well. Um, the same as I was been fishing earlier. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that the change uh, of spot and the change of hook baits makes a difference because I really want a carp today. It's been uh, challenging considering I'm on the match lake and it should be really easy, but it is not. I've had to set up the brolly because it was really, really windy and I was worried that it was going to blow everything over and just before I was setting it up, the camera went flying and I've damaged it, which is really good. Yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Damage my own equipment, that's what I want. Um, but yeah, I should have set up the brolly first, but I almost took off as well when I was trying to set it up, so it's pretty windy at the moment. Um, but it's hacking into this area and I'm hoping that something happens soon. Well, it looks like a blank on this session. I've tried really hard, I've tried different swims, I've tried different hook baits. I've constantly changed, constantly cast. I've done a few more casts and I saw a few fish jump in and I thought they might be carp, I weren't sure. Um, but nah, nothing happened. Um, I don't know, maybe it was the frost overnight, maybe killed it a little bit, I don't know. I tried really hard and it's been a difficult day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.